The state commander of the National Drug Enforcement Agency says more than 200 persons have been arrested for the abuse of various kinds of drugs. The command made this known after a walk against drug abuse to create awareness on the need for role to desist from the abuse. The road walk, which started from the state command, Makudi, to the modern market, aimed to inform residents of the negative impact of drug abuse in their society. The war against drug abuse is a call to awaken the minds of every Nigerian on the need to join in eradicating the menace. Not a hidden fact that the menace of drug abuse, trafficking and consumption is a plague that affects every group in the society. We are all aware of the current crisis of insecurity, such as banditry, kidnapping, terrorism, etc., bedeviling our country today. This year's United Nations Anti-Drug Day team is in line with the adoption of preventive measures. On this note, all hands must be on deck to fight this monster of drug abuse and illicit drug trafficking. The Commissioner for Information and Culture in Kebbi State, Yakubo Ahmed, says the present administration will not relent in its fight against drug abuse, trafficking, and addiction in the state. Hawa Mohammed has more. Kebbi State Commissioner for Information and Culture, Yakubo Ahmed Brennan Kebbi, represented the First Lady for this year's United Nations Days against drug abuse and illicit trafficking with the theme evidence is clear in first in prevention. The commissioner stated that Governor Nasser Idris is an advocate for the fight against drug abuse and has provided the necessary support and means to all stakeholders, including the leading agency in the fight against drug addiction. And drug, drug abuse is the beginning of the problems of this country as far as terrorism is concerned, banditry is concerned, criminal conduct and activities are concerned. If we, our first port of call, our first business, is to reduce or eradicate, if we can, the abuse of drugs in this While speaking at the event, NDLEA commander in the state, Suleiman Usman, clarified that the agency had adopted a sustainable method to eradicate the menace of drug abuse, addiction and trafficking. He thanked the KP First Lady, Hajia Zainab Nasri Idris, who is the ambassador against drug abuse in the state, for her determination to the fight against substance abuse, intoxicants and drug trafficking. The issue of drug abuse is alarming, generally affecting everywhere all over the country. And not only Nigeria, it's a global phenomenon. And that is why the United Nations, because what we are doing today is being done all over the world. It is a United Nations convention mandating all member nations to organize a sensitization exercise today. The day was set aside worldwide to enlighten the general public on the consequences of drug abuse. The event started off with a road walk in the commemoration of the 2024 United Nations Day against drug abuse and trafficking. The commissioner was accompanied by top officials of the NDLEA, COP members and students. They walked through major streets in Britain KP markets and interacted with the public in a bid to sensitize them on the danger of drug abuse. Hawa Muhammad, TVC News, Brennan Kebbi.